In this screencast for lesson 43, we are going to look at how we can optimize our code by refactoring the Ajax utility object. In fact, if we open that up here, we can see that we have quite a bit of duplicated code. Uh, if we look at the make get request, we are uh, using the on ready state change event handler. If we do post from form, we're doing the same thing. If post request is still doing the same thing. We are creating all of these XHR objects. There's just a whole lot of duplicated code and it would be great if we could get rid of that duplicated code by refactoring our um, Ajax utility object. So the first thing that we are going to change is we are going to factor out this creation of the XHR uh, object, the open call, the on ready state change event handler, and even the send. We are going to factor all of this out and we are going to put this into a new method called open and send. So we will just create this method here function. Now we need four pieces of data for this method to work correctly. We need the type of request to send, so get or post. We need the URL to send the request to. We need the data that may or may not be going with the request. And then we need the callback function to execute when the request is successful. So now we just need to use these parameters inside of this method here. So let's use type in place of get. URL is okay. We need to move this data down into the send method and callback is okay as well. So now that we have open and send completed, let's go to make get request and we just need to simply call open and send. We want to pass get for the type of request. We want to pass URL. Uh, data needs to be null and callback. And let's also go down to make post request. And we will type this open and send. Uh, for the type, we will pass post, URL, data, and callback. Now, it's very important that whenever we refactor code that we leave these methods, at least how we call them, the same. Because this way we can actually drop this newly revised Ajax utility file into any lesson where we have used it and it will work just fine. So now we just need to focus on this post from form method. And it's a little tricky because we have to set this request header here because of the... Um, format that we send data in. But it's actually really easy. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this and we are going to add a call to this inside of open and send. We are going to add an if statement and well first we are going to add a parameter. We are going to call this parameter content type and if content type content type then we are going to set this request header to whatever value is sent as content type. Now this is very nice because one, our post from form method can use this. Two, we don't have to change anything within the make get request and make post request because since we are omitting that content type, we are actually uh, passing undefined to it. And three, this is open-ended. So if there was some other request that we needed to make, like uh, with JSON, we have to use a different uh, request header, then we can just add a new method for a JSON request and pass the content type and use that here. So we've done really good with this. We just need to finish up with post from form. And that is really easy. So uh, let's go ahead and leave the majority of this code here because we are actually going to use some of it. Not a whole lot, but some. So let's call open and send. And we want a post request. We want to pass the URL. For data, we want to use the result of calling get request body. So we will put that there. The callback function. And then we want to pass the content type that we want to use. And that is this here. And so we can get rid of all of this code.
and we have a nicely refactored uh, Ajax utility. So let's test it with our car dealership. I have copied the files over from Lesson 42. I haven't done anything else. I've just renamed them to Lesson 43. So we need to change the title to Lesson 43, and we also need to change the reference to this external JavaScript file. So we should be able just to open this up in our browser, and it should work exactly as it has before. So let's go to localhost. And I need to learn how to spell localhost. And we need to go to lesson 43. And this is lesson 43 underscore example onehtm And press refresh. And here we go. Let's type in Toyota Camry 1980. And voila, we have a working uh, refactored Ajax utility. So uh, this is how we can go about and make our code code more optimized. Uh, we have essentially shrunk our code thanks to refactoring it and including the use of this open and send method. And we have also made it so that we can just drop this file into any other lesson that uses Ajax utility and be able to use it without having to modify any other code.